what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is coach Coco and I love volleyball so much so my channel is full with tips tricks hacks and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball so today I'm going to talk about some drills that you can do to work on your overhand serve if you're new to the overhand serve I'm going to link my overhand serve tutorial in the comments however I want you to take a look at this so that way you can practice this summer before tryouts let's get right into it <music> overhand survey. I made an overhand serve tutorial many years ago that really helped a lot of people, but I want to extend that help and start working on some drills that you can do to keep working on it. So with your overhand serve, I'm going to give you two drills today that you can use to practice at home, when you're at practice, after practice, or just in your own time. So one of the drills in my overhand serve tutorial is something that I've shown you before, but I just want to bring more light to. So with the overhand serve, we know that a lot of the issues with the serve come and stem from the toss. Your toss is essential to how your serve is going to go. We know that if your toss is good, then your serve is probably going to be good. But if your toss is bad, then maybe your serve isn't going to go over. But before we get into the toss, we need to look and recognize what a good toss is and what a bad toss is. For a good toss, we want a toss that is going to be right in front of your serving shoulder. For example, I'm right-handed, so I want my serving, the toss, to land right in front of my serving shoulder. The ball should be right in front of my serving shoulder, so when I step in to swing, it's right there. You don't have to go reaching for it. You don't have to look for it. You're not lose closing for it. It's right there. A bad toss, you have to lean into, you have to lean back. It's something crazy that you have to find. And this is something that we tend to see a lot with younger players and newer players. So if this is your toss, this is the problem. If you are swinging and you're tossing and the ball is all the way out there and you find yourself overreaching, that means the toss is way far forward. If you find that you're leaning back with your toss, that means your toss is way far back. If you're all the way leaning all the way down and you're coming up, that means that your toss is way too low. If you have to look up and wait and you're like 24 hours later, your toss is way too high. So the first drill we're going to do is we're going to get our serving hand and we're going to put it behind our back. It's behind my back. I'm going to get it to my serving form and I'm going to toss the ball up and let it drop. Now, if I have to move my body at any time, the toss is probably off. The next drill is adding those components together of the toss, the form, and all of that to start working on the strength of your serve. So when you're working on the strength of your serve, I recommend having a net, a wall, somebody to catch it, don't hit them, but we're gonna use this volleyball net. Now with this volleyball net, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into my serving form and I'm actually going to serve into the volleyball net. And I want to make sure that when I am serving into the volleyball net, that I'm doing it with my proper form and the amount of strength I determine that is going to go over the net. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm here with my serving form. I'm gonna serve. And cut. Now a 
lot of you all have issues with your serve because your hand doesn't look correct. When we are serving, we wanna make sure to have a flat hand. We don't wanna serve with a claw, crab claw. We don't wanna serve with our knuckles because that's an injury waiting to happen. We wanna make sure to have a completely flat hand. And that is the reason why largely we see a lot of players who warm up like this because they're trying to make sure that their hand is ready and warm for the ball. So when you're doing this drill, you wanna make sure that you have your hand ready and warm for the ball. This is one thing that you can do to warm up your hand. I hope that you like these two drills that can really help you get ready and work on your serve and get it over the net. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this with somebody who needs it because believe me, somebody does. I'll see you guys next time.